So recent project, just nearing completion. It's a uh, beaver tail delivery truck for one of our clients. Um, we didn't build the trailer. We just did some of the hydraulic works, not all the hydraulic work. Uh, we didn't do the hydraulics on the ramps. We made some recommendations. They haven't been approved. Uh, we did supply these uh, stabilizer legs. We did the hose work. We supplied the two six port diverter valves. There's a power pack up there with the tank. Uh, so this has actually got three functions. First function does the ramps. If they're not using first function, uh, it will then come into these diverter valves. Uh, first diverter valve will do this stabilizer leg. Second diverter valve will do the other stabilizer leg on the other side. Um, the hose installation is okay. Uh, what we don't like is that there's no load hold valves on the ramps and they're a little bit of a pain to actually get right. But, uh, as far as the mechanical installation for the stabilizer legs, they look good. Uh, so they've decided, like on crane trucks, they've decided that they'll fold down, hinge down into this position um, and lift the truck and when they've finished using them they'll fold it back up into this position here for transport again yeah here we would have i would have preferred i did make the recommendation to put some load hold valves or some counterbalance valves uh, declined but i have a feeling It'll be back and we'll put them in. I'm just not sure it'll pass inspection whenever it has an inspection. Uh, if someone knows what they're looking at, they're not going to pass that. But anyway, um, kind of a fun install. There's some of the details of the landing leg. So you, there is some sort of height adjustability on them. Uh, they're also got a built-in counterbalance valve, so they will hold the load as well. So you're not relying on the, the valves there to hold the load. There's actually internal valves in there that actually hold the load. I think there's an internal valve on either side there that holds the loads. So it won't drop down and it won't lift up. So oh, that's, this is the passenger side of, or the safe side of the vehicle. They're the two controls. They're the instructions. By default, up and down, left buttons will operate the ramp. Press 1, plus up or down to operate the left side stabilizer leg. Press 2, plus up or down to operate the right stabilizer leg. So, uh, a little bit of technicality there, but Augustine did the electrics on that. 